It's Dragon Feather, and welcome back to the channel. And as you can tell, today I have a very special guest, and her name is Emma. <laughs> Emma, yeah. Hi. <laughs> you know my name. I was like, do you not know my name? <laughs> do, did you forget me already? <laughs> no, she's Emma Doodlebug here on the internet, and we have known each other since we were fetuses. Very long time. <laughs> it's exciting. So today she knows nothing about witchcraft, and Yay. we are here to see and test her knowledge in her mind. I got some questions prepared for her, I got some props for her to engage with, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna interrogate you. Yay, I'm gonna fail spectacularly. No, you literally don't feel bad. Like, this is why we have the show, so we can, like, educate you, though. Uh, and so, I just want to take the moment to tell you thank you for being so yes. vulnerable with us, because many people have declined the offer of mine to be on the show because they don't want to fail spectacularly. <laughs> Question number one mm -hmm. is, what is witchcraft in your own words? Uh, I'm quite really curious, what do you think? I know there's crystals involved. Are there? <laughs> <laughs> do you best, do you best, I'm not looking. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not I know there is, I know there is, like, the earth. Yes. Stuff. The earth and the stuff. Earth. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's the most I know about that, it. That's all you know about yes. it? <laughs> I know. I know you're into Harry Potter. So I know that's not like a real rich crowd. <laughs> I used to I used to like try and get I was trying to get into like Wicca and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't. So like I did, I did read like a little bit of a book. Okay. So like okay. that was a long time ago. Like the fact that you even know Wicca, I'm impressed. I'm <laughs> genuinely impressed. Yay. So Witchcraft is a practice. It's gotcha. not a religion, like mm -hmm. Wicca is a nature-based religion, but witchcraft is a practice, meaning that it's no different than like arts and crafts. It's gotcha. <laughs> literally like it's <laughs> called witchcraft. <laughs> right. <laughs> so many people use many different things in their craft. Pretty mm -hmm. much every single witch is gonna have a different practice. Like it's just super individualized, like there's no rule book other than you gotta practice because it's a practice. Yeah. So, yeah, that's like the most basic definition I could give to you guys. Nice. Well, you and you guys. <laughs> now, I actually have some exciting props um, that you guys have seen so many times on the channel, and I'm going to ask her what they mean, what they do, why they are a thing, and... I love props. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you close your eyes just okay. for a second while I pull this out. This is the first thing we're showing her. <laughs> Our best cool. Okay. All right, so open your eyes. Have you seen that before? Yes, I have, kind of. Yes, I have, kind of. Good answer, good answer. Maybe. So the question attached is, what does the pentacle represent? Wow, that's a good question. I, I, uh, the points represent stuff. I mean, yeah. Do they? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. And then the center also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like hoping you'll go off of like your knowledge of like from movies, okay. from media, okay. like just however you've interacted with that symbol before. <laughs> well. <laughs> <You're ready. laughs> I'm scared to say. <laughs> it's okay, we've all heard it before. <laughs> I remember inventing the ink machine. He went into a room and this was on the floor and there were candles around it and like the room started shaking and then the ink monster rose up from the floor. <laughs> Are you telling me it's for summoning things? Is that what you're saying? Like indiscreetly? <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> okay. You tried. I tried. Um, I was actually really impressed that with you saying that the points represent something. Yeah, yeah, so I'll yeah, start I with that. that. So the pentacle is the symbol of witchcraft. Gotcha. Like basically, the points do represent things. Mm -hmm. Basically, they are all the elements. So these represent the four elements of like earth, air, fire, and water. Yeah. And then the top is spirit. Okay. And so, pretty much everyone thinks that the inverted pentacle is evil as fuck, yeah. but it's not. It just means, like, negativity, negativity. <clears throat> positivity, light, <laughs> darkness. It's, this is actually also sacred geometry, so the last thing I'll tell you is that this is used for protection as well, so. I think I've heard that. I've heard that. And you know what I've heard that? Supernatural. I was about to say, <laughs> in Supernatural they did it so they won't be possessed. There you and go. 
Yeah, like, that's that's close. <laughs> oh, at least that's protection. <laughs> yeah, close <laughs> enough. So that's the pentacle. Yay! 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 Props! <laughs> I forgot to show them. So it this was is all just light. This is what I'm showing her next. Okay, now go for it. It's a wand! It's a wand! So the question attached to it is what is a wand used for? Is this one from Harry Potter? Yeah, I knew you would know. <laughs> I knew you would know. So I actually. Also the box, because. Well, yeah. Hey, there it is! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I actually use my Harry Potter wand. It's my real one. I'm I not don't. Ashamed. I think I gave mine away. I had it, it was up there. I gave it away. It was it was an Infidora Tonks wand though. This one's the Pavardi Patel. Oh Pavardi Patel. Yeah. yeah, that's the one that one is. Oh, I got it because it looks like a dragon. It does look like a dragon wing. Yeah. I noticed that I was like, this is it's, your wand. It right is here. my wand. <laughs> it was made for me, actually. <laughs> they are used. Not for magic, because that's in TV, right? Or they're used for magic. Sweet! Awesome! They're used for magic. <laughs> They're used for magic. They're used. They're used for casting. Mm -hmm. And and um, I think that's it. That's all you got. Yeah. This, it's pretty legit. Okay. So basically, wands are used for directing energy. Surprise. And that could be casting. That could be like um, we do this thing called casting a circle, which is where we create sacred space for our rituals. And yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. You can also cast spells with it too. You can also like use it to like direct energy on someone's like body or on yourself or on like an object. Say you want to enchant an object kind of thing. That's what she do. So yeah, you... She got one right, guys. Yay! <laughs> Leave a like on the video because she got one right. For the next question, we don't have a prop. But okay. what is the significance of nature in witchcraft? Because when you told me about witchcraft, that was like, you're like, the earth. <laughs> I... That's a good question. Um... Okay, I got this. Because I, because, and you're like, I, I've seen in your intro, you're like, among the earth. <laughs> so I'm, like, <laughs> I'm among the earth, guys. It's, you heard it here first. <laughs> among the earth. I know that, like, are you like, like... There's like a connection to the earth or something like that, like, mm -hmm. and like its elements and stuff, mm -hmm. and like you draw from that. Yeah, wow! <laughs> wow! I'm like, I'm really proud of you! I mean, obviously, that's not all of it, but no. definitely a good portion of it. So, yes. we do draw energy from nature, mm -hmm. um, and it's called witchcraft because it's a craft. So, most of our tools and our items and our spells are made with nature. Oh. So, most things like wands, like Besoms, which are like the witch's broom. That's their technical term. And other things as well are made from nature. So also ritual is usually done in nature. It's about connecting with the earth because like it's about about that mother goddess energy. <laughs> not not for everybody, but like most people who are witches or who identify with magic or practitioners of magic will have a huge affinity to the earth. And if they don't, why are you here? <laughs> like I'm curious, not try to be mean, <laughs> like, let me know if you're not about that life. It's pretty much the foundation of witchcraft. My connection to, like, nature is what led me to my practice, so, like, after I left my religion, I was raised Mormon, after I left that, you I- You yeah. didn't even know that. Yes, yeah, surprise! <laughs> I didn't even know that! <laughs> so, I was raised hella Mormon, and I decided not to go there anymore, because, like, there wasn't a goddess, and my mm -hmm. first connection to magic was crystals and earth. So, and I'm not the only one. This is the next item we are showing her. Ooh, so pretty. I'm assuming. <laughs> Alright, open your eyes. <gasps> it's a cauldron. Oops. She knew. So the question is, what is a cauldron and what is it used for? This. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the thing from, um, That's from just, serving. <laughs> it's so funny, we went to the same high school, we like made things in the same classroom that I made this in. So you like, funny. yeah. I'm assuming that you mix stuff in it. Like potions? Sure. <laughs> You're afraid? It's so funny. <laughs> You're like, I think so. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Put herbs in like this and then... That's a motor and pestle. Close enough. There you go. <laughs> It's a bowl of some sort. A cauldron is a like a, a ritual tool. It's a witchcraft magical tool. You use it for the things and 
you've probably seen witches making bubbly green stuff. <laughs> that's like the that's the image that we got going for us right now. Bubble toilet trouble. Thanks, Shakespeare. I gotta just take a moment to appreciate how witchcraft is everywhere, but no one knows why. <laughs> what it's used for is for casting spells. Mm -hmm. You could make potions in it, um, but if you look inside of it, you can tell that I would never put liquid in there because it's just destroyed on the inside. Mm -hmm. Most commonly what I use it for and what I would say most like witches would use it for is either burning herbs like incense or burning spells. So like when I cast spells, I will write what I'm doing on a piece of paper, I light it on fire and let it burn in the cauldron. And that's what is that's what it's used for. And yeah. honestly, you can use it for whatever you want. I've even scried out of my cauldron. Scrying is basically like I filled it with water and I just stared at it until I like got into a meditative state to like get like messages and all of that. Yes. All that stuff. So I like the meditation. <laughs> it's actually scientifically proven to rewire your brain. <laughs> That's the cauldron. That's the cauldron. That's the cauldron. So pretty. Oh, thank I like you. That. I appreciate it. I know you I know you did it yourself. <laughs> All by myself. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So the next thing we're showing her is this. Isn't it cool? It's epic. All right, go for it. Ooh, it's a bunch of stuff. <gasps> Yo, okay, okay, these are tarot cards. Oh, she knows. I mean, it's not like it's written on there. They're anything. pure tarot cards. They're like oceany and naturey. Yeah. So this is the Animal Wisdom Tarot. They're based off of animals instead. It's not a traditional tarot deck, but it is a deck nonetheless. And the question is, why do witches use tarot cards? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. They're used to, um, I don't want to say predict the future. I knew you were going to say it. I mean, but like, see, I want you to tell me the stereotypical shit you think okay. for. That's the point. <laughs> Is that all you got? Um, to, to, um, um, uh, uh, feel someone's energy. Sure. Close. <laughs> so, it's close as I'm getting. <laughs> Tarot cards are considered a divination tool, uh -huh. and what divination means is connecting to the divine. So basically, they're just there to help you to connect to the divine. To the divine. And while some witches will use it as a predictive tool, mm -hmm. I'd say most witches use it as an introspective tool or a tool to help you find guidance. So like, they'll pull a card and be like, hmm, what should I be focused on for today? And that would be your reading for the day. Or you'd be like, hey, this is really bothering me in life right now. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. And it just kind of helps you figure out where you are in life and get some guidance from like your guardians, any gods or goddesses you work with, any spirits you work with, any otters you work with. So just any, <laughs> just any pretty much. I was wondering if you'd be interested in just a really quick card pull. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm so interested. That sounds fun. Okay. So I'm just going to shuffle these really, really quickly. And uh, did you have like a particular question or do you have like just a need for a general reading in your life? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm getting the feeling that I should just like let you pick a card. Okay. I never deal the deck this way, by the way. But you can do it however you want. What'd you get, girl? I got pick up real life. <laughs> I love that card so much! Yeah. Okay, so. They look happy. Is it what? It's the what of fossils? The six of fossils. Okay, so. The, the six of fossils is traditionally the six of pentacles, because this is not a traditional tarot deck. Um, element is earth, and its theme is respect, responsibility, fair exchange, equality, and peace. Large and powerful, Gorilla has a kind heart, sensitive touch, and friendly disposition. Gorillas share food, habitat, and resources, caring for all in the tribe. An easygoing, intelligent, and natural healer who knows the value of strength and gentleness. Gorilla reminds us to act with compassion and show respect to others. And honestly, that seems really accurate. You seem like like a really kind and compassionate and like loving little leader for your little bugs over there. Aww, Aww. I feel and loved. you 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 give to all of those those little beans over there. So it's true. The six of fossil highlights the harmony of exchange. Exactly, girl. You exchange it in harmony. Well, obviously. <laughs> you're you're who you are, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla advises balance to share freely and take just what you need. Release judgments of pride or shame, learn to give and receive, and to know that they are their own rewards. Gorilla urges us to look deep and recognize the spirit in all life. By awakening true generosity, we allow soul-based exchanges that flow from love. From love. From the... Good, I need a girlfriend. <laughs> She's available, guys. Yeah. Girls, girls, ladies, guys, sorry. <laughs> 
finish the reading. In larger terms, this card asks if we are responsibly sharing our knowledge, talents, and resources both personally and globally. When we take more than we need, we cause imbalance, diminish our connection to other beings, and disrupt peaceful living on Earth. How we value and handle sacred exchange discern, determines the future of ourselves and our planet, and the message is accept gladly and give freely. Which you seem pretty in harmony with, like, how you give to the world and how you give to yourself. I mean, this is the cleanest I've ever seen her room, guys, so that's pretty good. Yeah, this seems like an accurate reading for you. Do you, do you resonate with it? Yeah, I'm a gorilla. <laughs> Although, I think I have to show you the whale because you're obsessed. Yes, show me the whale! <gasps> it's, so excited. it's one of my favorite cards. Could I find it? Oh, it's so cute! The all-encompassing. The all-encompassing. So cute. Yeah, dude. She's obsessed with whales, I'm pretty sure. It's, whale. I'm pretty sure it's her spirit animal. Whale, 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 <laughs> whale, whale, whale. Homosexual whale. whale. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing we're showing her is this. Isn't it cool? Woohoo! Oh, I heard a ding. Oh, that was my necklace on the culture. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and open your eyes. Chakras, I know about these. Yeah? Yeah. So the question is, what are the chakras? Without reading too much of the tablet. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> I know my mom talks about chakras all the time. Oh, really? Um, awesome. Well, I mean, she used to. I don't know. She likes the whole crystal thing. Um, you know, there's like one there. Mm -hmm. I mean, hello, my crystal. There you go. <laughs> one there. Is there one there? Mm -mm. Okay. Is there one there? There. Mm -hmm. Is there one there? Mm -hmm. There? Mm-hmm. Is there one in the <laughs> It's like it's like a, like your pelvic bone. Okay, cool. So yeah. above the midget. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything further down? Um there's other like so there's like extended chakras, but most people just know the seven. So there's higher chakras and then there's lower chakras. There's like a like a brown black one that's between your feet that connects you to the earth. Um but these are the ones that are typically discussed. Uh. And in layman's terms, pretty much chakras are just the inner center, the energy centers within your body that correlate with a bunch of different stuff, as you could tell on the chart. Um, yes. All of them, you know, as you probably know, if chakras are the crystals, they have like crystal correspondences. Yeah. So on the front, it shows you all the different correspondences for each one of the chakras, how, like, so like this is like the Sanskrit name, but like this is what we call it. Um, so like sacral chakra. And then those are like different yoga poses that you can do to like help you get in touch with them. And then all of the other stuff is basically like, oh, like this is how you get in touch with it by eating this kinds of food or like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so one of my favorite things to do is like a chakra cleanse. Mm -hmm. So I'll eat the chakra foods for seven days and the last day I'll fast because that's like what you're supposed to do. In witchcraft, the chakras are used as a way to heal ourselves. We will use the chakras to uh, project energy, some of us will. I know I like to use the different colors of the different chakras when I'm working with different things. So, for example, in correlation with a wand, if I'm casting a love spell, I'll visualize green or pink energy coming from my heart, out my arm, down, throughout my wand. And that's like how that works. So that's just kind of a little like combo of the two things that I showed you. But yeah, there's there's so many things to talk about with chakras. I could make a whole video on it, but yeah, most witches most witches work with the chakras. I wouldn't say all of them, but most of them do. I think the last question mm -hmm. doesn't have a prop, but what do you think magic is? Magic with a C or magic with a K? Magic with a K. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised <laughs> you thing. actually knew that was a thing. I'm most yeah. people are like, why do you spell with a K? Are you stupid? <laughs> I'm just like, are you? <laughs> spells. Spells. <laughs> yeah. Magic is spells, you mean? Is it? Is it? I want to know. You tell me, uh, girl. <laughs> magic is, 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 is. Casting. Is casting spells. Magic is casting spells. You've heard it here first, guys. Is it? It's not, is it? Oh, I mean, kind of. <laughs> Magic is needed to cast spells. Okay. Um, so casting spells. Yes. The definition of a spell is like the act of raising magical energy. Okay. To like bring forth a desired effect. Um, so it's basically like willing what you want into reality using magic. Mm -hmm. So magic, what magic really is, is just energy. energy. <laughs> yeah. It's not just energy, but it's 
That's like the easiest way like I could explain it. Mm -hmm. Magic is in everything. You just gotta like be open to it. And the saying is, those who don't believe in magic never see it. And you and your Disney ass, I'm pretty sure believe in magic in some sort of fashion. <laughs> so like... I, I, I feel the magic every time I walk into Disney. <laughs> <laughs> She's a real person, I promise. Magic is different for everyone, and every witch is gonna have their own definition of magic and mm -hmm. what it means to them. So essentially, like, magic is not only energy, but in combination with, like, your intention and your willpower. So, like, the stronger your will, the stronger your magic. The stronger you believe, mm -hmm. the stronger your magic. I believe in fairies, I do, I, I do! do. <laughs> okay? I do believe in fairies. Oh, I love that scene. So exactly, it's like that. Like literally that scene is mm -hmm. like the only way she would be better is if they believed in her. Oh, I'm getting chills. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. But yeah, so that's magic. In a nutshell, I mean, we can't define magic with mere words of the English language, but that's the best I got. <laughs> so I hope it makes sense to you. And our last question is the grand finale. Yes. So this is the most exciting one, so... Last, we close your eyes one last time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is the next thing we're showing her. Oh, magnificent. Okay, go for it. Da, 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 da. Da, da. All right, all right. So the question I have for you with this one is, what's the difference between a grimoire, a book of shadows, and a spell book? I can totally do this. Hang on. A grimoire. Well, see, because in Magician's Apprentice, a grimoire is a spell book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, is a grimoire like a magician's entire like history and stuff in there, maybe? Not magician's start, start on the I apprentice. Know, I know, which <laughs> is, it, like, is their entire history, like, history, like, plus, like, spells and dates and stuff. Is that, is so, that Typically grimoires are usually passed down families, like that's how you would know. And it's not just like spells or like history, it's just everything. Gotcha. Like everything that like the from the lineage that knows or like if someone's like just making a grimoire, mm -hmm. it's like their dreams, their correspondences, like their spells, their whatever. Like any sort of magical experience is gonna be in there. Okay. Pardon me, thinks that a book of shadows. So I've seen you mention a book of shadows before. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm like your Instagram. Mm -hmm. You write down. You write down stuff in it. Um. You write down. <laughs> Recipes. Recipes. Yeah. So actually, it's a cookbook. <laughs> No, but it's really a cookbook. <laughs> I don't know why I said recipe. <laughs> Do you write down like spells in there that you're like casting in the moment, or is that a spell book? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trolling, you know. So like a book of shadows mm -hmm. is more personal to a practitioner. It's not necessarily like a community book. It's like an individual's book. Okay. So like it's gonna have like an individual's experiences. So like all my beliefs and like practices and like um, knowledge that I've learned and things that like represent me or like are associated with me in a magical sense are gonna be in my own personal book of shadows. That's just for me. So it's just like a Zura Dragon Feathers. Not like my family's, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And a spell book is pretty self explanatory. Yeah, I spell them. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's the video, man. These, these I, are pretty. Yeah, you can look in it. Uh -huh. Whoa! Yeah, I want to see your mind blown on camera. That's fancy. <laughs> so, like, this is basically just like my crafting journal on steroids. Can you tell? It's so pretty. Do you think There's... Auntie Max would be proud? Yeah! <laughs> She'd be like, this feather on here? Amazing. So you talked about Wicca. So this is my Wicca page. Yay! And so this is like <gasps> the long read. Dang, how do you like connect all these pages and stuff? Tutorial is on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so like, cool. comment, subscribe. Dang! So yeah, That's so cool. this is my... 
Oh, dang, look at all the nature. Mm -hmm. I love all the nature. Yeah, it's my favorite. Ever. It's what I do with That's my life. That's pretty, and it all smell nice. Yeah, dude, there's just so much goodness in here. It's um falling apart, that one. That one's been here for a while. That one actually has nothing in it, though. Um, it's so pretty. I'm working on it. It's actually... I'm obsessed with that. The colors of that one. And no, the I like the colors. The charm. The colors are so pretty. That's that's what is witchcraft. I hope that you are leaving knowing a little bit more about witchcraft. I do know a lot Feeling more. <laughs> a little bit more educated here. I'm much more educated. Let's give her a round of applause yeah. for doing her very best. I she actually got some right. I'm really proud. Yes. Leave a like on the video because she's not completely ignorant. Yay. I got energy the last second. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, Please subscribe to the channel and please go check her channel out. Her name is Emma Doodle Bug and all of her info will be down below and at the end of the video. Like really um, wholesome. She's really wholesome. <laughs> if you actually need the most fluffy, white, little, like not white as in white girl, <laughs> white as in like, like, like lovely purity. Like a cloud. Like a cloud. Like her dog. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if you need wholesome content, go check out her videos. We have some more of us over on our channel. Yeah. I actually reacted to a video for the first time in my life on her channel. She's schooling me on how to create reaction content, so subscribe just for that. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, but until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and freaky! Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Blessed be and bye! Bye! Mwah, I can't reach the camera. <laughs> All the way over here. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what I know. Top gun is your main focus. Go Okay, ready? Happy. Hey, feel like dead, dead, demonetized. I got that very wrong. <laughs> You're going to get them all wrong. Sorry. <laughs> your right. faith in me is lovely. <laughs> I have no idea which one I'm going to pull out first because it's all in here. Closing my face. I'm closing my face. <laughs> I'm ready. Destroy yourself. <laughs> so you have Earth. I don't really know exactly. Wow, I probably should have rehearsed this. this. But anyway, so. It's <laughs> only because of Harry Potter that I got this right. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I mean. That's how most of us got here in the first place, so... GG, two down, GG, four to go. GG, two down, four to go! We're so ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> so... but I might as well just call it the Elsa collection. <laughs> Alright, the next question has a, has a prop. I have so many props for you, it's ridiculous. Sweet! I love it. Um, it's exciting, guys. It's really exciting. The props, the props are best. <clears throat> the props are best. Have you ever been to the Universal Studios prop department? Yes! Wait, have you? Yeah, they take you in the VIP tour.
I've heard about that, and that's the only reason I want to do it. No, honestly, it's worth it. Because, like, in Big Fat Liar, they went in there. It's always been my dream to go in there. It's so worth it. When I went there, they had the Maleficent chair there. I died. I died. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I'll have to show you my video. Like, oh, I have a video no. that, like, shows the prop department. Oh, my God. I have to show you my video. Should you react to my video of Universal Studios? Maybe you the time. <laughs> so many other videos. <laughs> Just make a collab channel. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's see. Um, we can okay. call it, we can call it, um, we can call it, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we'd call it. It would be Doodle Feather. <laughs> doodle Feather? <laughs> You gotta be a weirdo. How so does like, it happen? So it's like, so, but until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and freaky. Oh my gosh, really? Like, just do whatever. Just be a weirdo. Okay. Like, I'll probably be more extra than you. Don't feel weird. Like, but I want you to be 